Hi, my name's Graham White. Um, I'm one of the master inventors working here in ETS. I'm going to tell you about a little project that uh, I worked on as part of uh, one of our hack days um, that we heard uh, Kevin talk about this morning. Um, and I did that with one of my colleagues here in uh, Emerging Tech, and it's all around um, what, we, what we've done towards tackling cancer using machine learning. So the first thing we did was have a look at, well, how do humans solve this problem? Um, what they do at the moment is we've got a bunch of scientists in white coats in labs, and they look down microscopes at uh, images like this one you see on your right. Uh, and what they do is they try and identify out of that image, uh, can I see any cancer cells? Um, so in order to do that, they're trained. And they're trained using images like this. Um, so hopefully you can all see that this image contains different types of uh, cell data. Uh, some of them are white blood cells. These are characterized more by sort of a, a solid blob that's a sort of a round shape and more regular. Uh, tissue cells that we're less concerned with that tend to be sort of uh, a longer, thinner shape, like these ones we can see here. And then we've got the cancer cells. So these are the ones that we're really interested in. And these are, tend to be more irregular in shape and have a, a kind of a hollow center to them. So that's what the scientists are looking for in the lab. Uh, there's techniques that we can use to make that uh, a little bit easier for the human. So in the lab environment, uh, we can apply a chemical staining process. So some of these cells that we see on this particular image have turned yellow. And those are the ones that uh, the scientists would see as cancerous in, in their image. And we've also experimented with uh, doing things like what happens if we turn the image to black and white? You can see it gets rid of some of the background noise um, and potentially makes some of the cells stand out a little bit more, but it doesn't really help you identify which cell is which. So this turns out to be the best example of helping people identify whether we've got cancer cells in the image. Unfortunately, <coughs> The chemical staining process isn't 100% effective, so the scientist has to keep an eye on the fact that some of the images, uh, some of these cells in this image that are pink might still be cancerous, so they, you need the skilled person to have a look at this. Uh, so what we did to sort of tackle this in a, in a computational environment was write an algorithm, so my colleague Adrian Lee here in ETS wrote an algorithm using computer vision techniques to identify the uh, contours of each individual cell. What that does, it means that we can now separate every cell in the, cancerous, uh, in, the, in the biopsy image that might be cancerous or a blood cell, and we can separate them individually so that there's no over overlap with any of the other cells. So uh, it means that we can turn an image like this into an image like this where we have uh, pulled out individual cells uh, that are either blood types or cancer types. And then if we get a human to, uh, to, to label those specific images, we've started the beginnings of creating a, a, a training set that we can apply into our machine learning algorithm. So the human in the loop here tells us whether the cell that we've pulled out is a cancer cell or whether the cell we've pulled out is a blood cell. Um, and that gives us the information that we need to feed into uh, a machine learning algorithm. So this is the machine learning al algorithm that I wrote um, in a couple of days in our, our Hack Day project. It's uh, basically using a, a standard logistic regression algorithm. Uh, myself and uh, Helen created a really small training set. Um, so we looked uh, at images and we manually cut out lots of different uh, cells. Some of them were blood cells, some of them were cancer cells. Um, and you can see the set is really quite statistic statistically small, so statistically insignificant, but it does at least prove the point that we can do this kind of machine learning technique for uh, and applying it to uh, a biopsy image in order to help us determine whether the image is cancerous or not. Um, and so running the, uh, the test data through my algorithm, we, we generated uh, two output types. Uh, there are some positive tests. These were the cancerous cells. And we got three out of four of those correct. And these are the blood cells. And we got all of those correct in our small sample set. As I said, it's a really small set. So it's kind of statistically insignificant. We need to do something to ramp that up so that we can really say how good it was. Um, but it's certainly a strong indicator that this type of technique is uh, useful for uh, identifying cancer. So what we've created is a mechanism by which uh, we can use humans in the loop to, uh, to create a training set once, create the algorithm, and then we can run this algorithm against many thousands of images using computers. So we, we kind of help these scientists in the lab approach this problem by uh, giving them a smaller problem to work on, and we can then set the computers to work on the, uh, on the sort of much harder problem, which means we can now identify many more of these uh, uh, images in a shorter space of time. So the actual process that we would run through, we would start with a biopsy image, run our cell detection, do some cell extraction to get the different cell types, 
Then we can feed that into our classification algorithm, and the classification algorithm will give us the results to tell us how many cancer cells, how many blood cells there are in the image, and therefore, does that biopsy contain cancerous, uh, cancerous cells?